Alright guys, E3 Downgrade Belgium here again and today I am going to show you how to update from 4.78 uh, to 4.80.1 um, either Rex or Dex, uh, it doesn't matter so um, let's get started so the first thing you are going to do is turn on the PlayStation and go to Rebug Toolbox to check either if you have a um, Kex or Dex firmware if um, if you already know what you are running you don't have to do that but it's important to know uh, which firmware to download from the Rebook um, site so you can go to system information and over here you can see I am on um, 4.78 Dex and over here you can also see that my um, LV2 kernel and my target type are Dex as well. So that's what we need to know. We can back out of this. In the meanwhile, we can open the Rebox side. So I'll um, leave this in the description. What you want to do is down, is scroll all the way down like this, and click either if you have Kex you select the Rex version if you have Dex you select the D-Rex version so I had D-Rex you click on it and it won't download the firmware but it will download a zip file here we go this is the zip file that you'll get um, it's the third time I downloaded it so that's why it renamed um, and in that file you will get this um, txt file and when you open it this is the link you want to paste in your browser so you can just copy and when you paste it you can uh, click paste and go and it will automatically start downloading the uh, firmware but I already have it on my computer and I also like to download a full version of the Rebook Toolbox so Rebook Toolbox is included into the firmware but it is the small version I, um, I like to get the full, uh, full version as well but it isn't obligated and you will need to download uh, Control Console um, 2.74 as well for the um, 4.80 support and I will leave this link in the description and you want to scroll down and click the CCAPA uh, 2.70 rev 4 package so when that's done I have all my files in a, a little folder here my firmware, the toolbox and the control console you want to insert a USB and you want to make sure it is FAT32 as you can see and on that USB you want to get your two package files Redux Toolbox and Control Console drop them on and you also want um, a folder called PS3 all capitals a folder called update all capitals and you want to drop the firmware over here so oops these firmwares and uh, I am just going to rename this one uh, this is dex I installed so you just want to drag this into um, your USB that is done you go to rename and you delete everything that's before the PS3 or that I, I don't pop and here you go so this is the file you should be left with PS3 of that dot pop you don't need um, these firmwares over here these are just some extra firmwares I stored on my use uh, on my disk USB disk so now I go to safely eject um, just uh, to prevent any corruption of the uh, firmware files otherwise you may get the um, firmware's corrupted error and now I plug the USB in my PlayStation and before I start the update um, if you are on Rex make sure there is no disk in the console and make sure you are disconnected from the internet 
and you can make sure by going to network settings and disabling the network over here. My PlayStation 3 is set to internet connection, but the ethernet cable does not connect, so you can see my IP address is 0.0.0.0, which means I am not connected to the internet. Um, but because I am on DEX, that doesn't really matter, but anyhow. If you want to go to update via storage media, and I update, I won't say the update because it's already on my hard drive, but you know, uh, let, let it copy and let it install. Alright, so now the update is installed and when I go to system settings it should say 4.80. Oops, oops. And as you can see we are on 4.80 now and apparently it just uh, it gives me an IP address. Whoa, strange. Um, it's probably because I have a static IP address, but anyway. Um, now I will go to my uh, package manager, install packages, and standard location. And over here we will be looking for the Reebok Toolbox full to have the full support for 4.80. And again, in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my for but it's no use. And we want um, and stone uh, ref for that's what we want. It will say if you had a um, revision tree installed. It will uh, say um, that the version is already installed, and if you want to override it, you actually want to override it. And now we can enable Control Console by going to the Control Console app. Sorry for the for the scrolling, but um, my capture module has a lot of input lag, so that's why I can't precisely select an option. And as you can see, dedicated uh, detected firmware is 4.80 dex. Continue. Do you want to install Control Console API on PlayStation 3? Yes, please. Okay, reboot. Now the console has put it again, and now I want to go to Reebok Toolbox to set my Cobra and Webman settings. I go to the settings and I switch this to Reebok. Um, Toggle CFW settings, yes. Enable Cobra mode, yes. And toggle Wetman, yes. And now I'd like a full reboot. Start system. Plug the Ethernet cord in my console real quick. I just like this.
you can uh, hear my PS3 spinning up because without Cobra it gets pretty hot but now I enabled Cobra so it's cooling down air rapidly um, compared to it's lagging though but now you should be able to um, log in to load a game and log in so let me load a game real quick uh, Black Ops 3 sucks on uh, previous gen consoles I like it on current gen PS4. Close the browser. Yes, please. R2 and triangle to disable the CFW system calls. And okay. So that's the tutorial. Um, I am going to do a part 2 on this tutorial um, for the people who are having the um, 800 um, 82 224 error. Um, don't worry, you are not banned. Get rid of this error. It's annoying, a lot of um, people to the scene have that. Um, if you have this, um, you probably are on Dex because on Rex uh, you won't have that problem or you won't have the thing causing this problem. So you are wanting to go to uh, either Reebok Toolbox or Webman. So I'll show you the Reebok Toolbox way first. Go to Homebrew. So I just booted up my PlayStation 3. I didn't disable the CFW system calls yet. So you do that after you do the Reebok Toolbox thing. Um, the Reebok Toolbox thing you have to do every time you boot. So you go to Reebok Toolbox, last column, scroll down, and, and you select the change active PS3 ID. And you select the Kex one. As you can see, um, 82 is Dex, and 85 is Kex. So you select the Kex one. And it will say something like um, changing um, stuff in LV2 memory. Alright. And when I now quit Reebok Toolbox. But the annoying thing now is when I shut down my PlayStation, I reboot my PlayStation, it's gone. I will get the same error again. So now I will go to. Batman disabling the assist calls. I go to login. Uh, <coughs> and I'm logged in. But now I will reboot my system. Alright, my system has been rebooted. But when I click login right now, I get the error again. So, if you use Webman, Webman will uh, do that Reebok Toolbox thingy automatically when you boot PlayStation. So, when you boot PlayStation, it will say uh, like to PlayStation, "Hey man, you gotta change my Dark ID or my Active Console ID to a Kex region," and the console will do that, and then you won't get the error. So, what you want to do is go to um, my games, Webman, Webman setup, and select the setup. I am going to use my browser to do that because it's e easier to navigate like that. Um, I've done a tutorial on this as well, so you can check it out. Um, I type in the IP address of my console and enter the Webman setup, and I scroll down. And you want to scroll down until you see um, your console ID. So this is what you will see. This box was checked, but it uh, won't be checked um, for you. So what you want to do is check this box. And over here you will see in the first part of the console ID, the second part will be blocked. In this part you will see all zeros, a 1, and this number will be 82. In your case, it will be 82. Um, 
I will leave the region code, so I will type console any region codes. I will put these in the description as well. These region codes I will leave in the description. And as you can see, 82 stands for DEX debug, um, and that is the default one when you change to uh, DEX. But I live in Europe, so my target ID should be 85. If you live in the US, you should use 84, and you can find the code here. So I am going to put in 85, so I delete the 2, change it to 5, make sure this is checked. I scroll down, click save, and I will reboot the console. Settings updated, reboot. And now I can just load the game I want to. Uh, play two, for example. I can disable the CFW system calls. And when I go to login right now. I don't have the problem anymore. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, please dislike and leave a comment why and how I could have done better. So yeah, see you later guys.